From Tikka News, right now, the global view. This is Tikka News Insight. Hello and welcome back to Ticker News Insight, the show where we are gathering insights from people working in and on businesses from all around the world. I'm your host, Mike Loder, and to our latest story for the moment, and Dr. Torsten George brings more than 27 years of global information security experience to the table today. As security evangelist for Absolute Software, he's an expert commentator on cybersecurity and advising companies on how they can become cyber resilient amidst the increasing threats that we're seeing. It's my pleasure to welcome him to the studio. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Thanks for so much. Thanks for having me. Let's learn a little bit about you just to start. Tell us about how Absolute Software is helping big companies uh, maintain that resilience mm -hmm. and look after themselves in these strange digital days that we're seeing. Sure. Absolute Software is the only provider of self healing intelligent security solutions. So we're embedded in more than 600 million devices, which allows us to have a permanent digital connection between our platform, an endpoint application or network connection. And so that really allows us to have unprecedented visibility, control, as well as self-healing capabilities for these elements. The self-healing is an interesting one. That's not one I've come across before. And I've spoken to a few of you uh, cybersecurity experts, which is great to see. So I love something new. Let's talk how um, you would describe the current landscape that organizations are facing when it comes to cyber threats. What's the state of play? Definitely. As a, as a security practitioner, I, I don't envy the people that have to work in that space. I get up at 4.30 every morning, wherever I am in the world, yep. and first thing I look up is the news. And every day there's a new data breach that's being reported. So we have seen a quite significant uptick in cyber attacks since the health crisis, where the cyber criminals really focused in on the weakest link, the remote work. And then with the current ongoing aggressions in Central Europe, we also have seen an uptick in state-sponsored attacks. And so this holds especially true for ransomware attacks, which has seen a 150% increase year over year. And of course, ransomware attacks are where somebody will steal your data and offer to sell it back to you at an exorbitant price. But tell us about how our organizations' responses should matter or how they should respond if and when they're struck by a ransomware attack. Mm -hmm. So typically you see most organizations really spend their efforts in protective measures, and that's probably not the right thing to do. In fact, uh, in 2021, 54% of a ransomware attacks were successful despite protective measures in place. So that really gives you an indication that you should focus more on recovery and response. Okay. And so here again, it's around uh, self-preparedness, is around monitoring your cyber hygiene. And then if the attack occurs, which nowadays is more given effect than, than a likelihood. And so from that perspective, you really need to be prepared to recover quickly. Okay, well, let's go back to the self-healing aspect of what you guys offer at um, Absolute Software and these endpoint devices. I believe that's something that's built in. Take us through how it works and what it is, because it sounds, uh, yep. you know, self-healing for me is taking a walk <laughs> and drinking more water. But uh, let's talk about sure. cybersecurity. So as I mentioned, uh, we're embedded in the firmware of more than 600 million devices. Mm -hmm. um, and once this technology is activated, it's fiercely resilient to any attempts of uh, tempering. So you could even remove the hard drive of a laptop, put in a new hard drive. Next time you boot up the device, our technology is alive again. And that really allows us to self-heal the laptop, but also extend these capabilities to the application layer. So we have a library of applications that a customer can take on the policy and then they can monitor for the health of the application or if they're up to do so, they can also self here or repair these applications. And that is very important nowadays. A lot of the cyber criminals, they first turn off these uh, critical uh, applications so that they can operate without the risk of detection. And so having that capability that it's always not just installed, but functioning as intended is very critical. Incredible stuff to think that it just pops straight in. But uh, just finally, Torsten, can I get you to comment on organizations and the lessons they can learn from the recent Optus attack we saw um, so many people affected there? Take us through, uh, and again, just to finish. I think in general, every organization, if they wanted to build a successful cybersecurity strategy, they have to put themselves into the shoes of an attacker. They have to think like an attacker. 
those techniques and, and procedures that are being applied, if I would focus on the things that those attackers are really using on a daily basis, mm -hmm. I would be far better off. And that's typically around identity access management, because 81% of today's breaches are based on weak or compromised credentials, and then also focusing on your endpoints. That's really the front end of a cyber attack chain. That's the beachhead that a lot of attackers use to get into a corporate environment. And very well summarized by you. I want to thank you for joining us in the studio, highlighting a little bit more about what organizations can do in the wake of this ongoing uh, digital danger that we're seeing. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you to all of you for tuning in. I've been Mike Lota. Be sure to head to tickernews.co for more insights and information, and of course, breaking news. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Be well.